The forces of neoliberalism and globalization that we fight, uh, the manifestations of which, which we fight in our local communities, uh, we also see that having impacts in places like Honduras. How do we organize um, in a predominantly white state, um, working class white folks, in a way that they will still be accountable to uh, to people of color and indigenous people, to the folks who have been struggling against these kinds of oppression in such a, an intense way for 500 years. Nosotros no nos sentimos pobres porque tenemos la naturaleza, tenemos la tierra, por eso la defendemos. No nos importa que nos amenacen, nos quiten vida de seres humanos, y nosotros vamos a seguir resistente en la lucha. Así como lo hizo la compañera Beta Cáceres. ¡Beta sigue, sigue! ¡La lucha sigue, sigue! A mi mami le asesinaron el 2 de marzo en su casa y la asesinaron por su lucha. Por su lucha en defensa de la naturaleza, por su lucha en defensa de los pueblos indígenas y por su lucha en defensa de las mujeres. En el cuerpo de mi madre, el 2 de marzo, se concentró la violencia del sistema capitalista. The words tonight are inspiring. And we're giving a shout out to the people of Copaine. <laughs> we're yeah. inspired. We're inspired and in solidarity. And I want to say to whomever that I am so appreciative of people around the world saying that they are behind Black Lives Matter. I am so appreciative of that as we stand in solidarity with you. These things that are happening around the globe touch all of us. There's so many ways that we're all connected um, in the north, in the south, east, west through our struggle. We need to see more from all of our politicians to bring justice for all peoples around the globe, not just here in the United States. Like our brothers and sisters who are here from Honduras, we need to understand their struggles and how they relate to ours uh, because our struggle is really one and the same. And as a delegate to the Democratic National Convention, I plan on, you know, pushing the, the Parita Human Rights uh, Amendment that's going in that's in Congress right now, and making sure that every elected official come across hears about it. Uh, and we are very aware of the importance of this election coming up, and we are going to do our best to continue to raise the issues that uh, the folks in the caravan brought to us.